pretty straightforward. We've got the usual kind of favorites coming in first for both of our players. Uh, the Ranger and the Nyx coming in, and then the Scale Bear. Probably going to be the second choice for Faison. Although Griffin going a little bit lighter there. He does bring in a much more tankier champion towards the end of it, though, with that clutch pick. That's a good mix. Good, a good range of uh, champions for Griffin. I'm curious to see now. Faison's thinking about that clutch, I think. Yeah, we'll see here. He's got... Oh, there it is. Okay, so it is going to be the Blaskovitz. This will be the last choice there for our player on the right. Interesting. Interesting pick. Uh, because, especially because the uh, the shield, the clutch, I'm just not a big big fan of Blaskovitz when there's a clutch running around. Mm. Yeah, so unfortunately you have to kind of, you kind of have to wait the timer out in a lot of those circumstances too uh, with the with the shield getting in your way. And the, and the cooldown on the shields approximately half half the length of, of Blaskowitz's, so you can get two shields off by the time, you know, per every one ability of his. So you use one to block, and you can use the second one to get a kill. Yep. So we'll see how uh, we'll see how that dynamic works out between these players. Again, just warming up here, and then we will be jumping into it and see who can take the first map in the set and who's going to be able to push forward and move a little bit deeper into the tournament here. All right, here we go. So let's see the first initial starts for these guys Round for a second, because keep in mind, like I said before, one. they can actually change Round up one. the champion that they start off with here. Uh, Faison, both of them actually go for their tanky champions right from the start of it. So we've got the skill bearer versus the clutch. Here's the thing though, Faison starts with a shotgun, which amongst a lot of players has actually been a relatively uncommon pick. He uses that charge right at the start and tries to push the clutch back, but he still hasn't found much ground to work off of yet. He's really just stuck in the mega health room. to look for the battle now and he's going to get it right up in the face of his opponent here trying to lock him down and it's another even trade we saw one of those in our last matchup and we're going to see it again right here to start off this map however griffin going to find himself in a bit of a rough patch does end up kind of looping around a little bit here and he's got the nyx secured however that last second pop of the ghost walk keeps the nyx alive however it also does give griffin with the mega health pickup, which you got before, and now the full armor pickup, too. So he's stacked, and he's got a lot of health to play off of. Faze yeah, that was, a, that was a mistake, Faison, when he spawned. He he went for that mega health. He had the truth. They were both up at the same time. He could have just backed off and taken the heavy armor. Instead, he wasted that bit of time, and you see when he went over there to take it, he got ambushed. Faison just trying to stay alive. You got the health back. Gonna play off of this. Mega health just sitting right below him for free, so he gets that. He seemed a little bit confused about the fact that it was open to begin with. So that gives him a little bit more control. However, Griffin also uh, ran over to the other side there, and he got the full armor pickup on that spawn. And again, they just end up in a huge LG battle right inside of this main room, and Faison can't really take an open battle for that long on the Nyx. So he does have to back himself up a little bit, pop off the stealth, and try to reposition. Still hasn't recovered a lot of that health, though, so only working... Well, it gets it back now, of course, but doesn't have any armor to support it, which is a very key part of playing on the Nyx here. And with two seconds to go, leaping and looking for the spawn, they actually did miss each other. Faison just getting out of there. Thankfully, has that extra health to work off of, and now over to the LG. Almost has his opponent finished off, but does not want to chase down that last few points of damage that are needed to secure the kill. It's a very close fight. Both are on the verge of death right now. <laughs> Griffin in better shape now after he picked up the health, but... He's on trying to go for some very, very long range rocket kills here, which are not going to work out. Oh. And ultimately, he just ends up peeking right into a, uh, an SMG. Yeah, very foolish. He was low. He had his ghost walk up. He could have escaped again. Oof. That doesn't work out too well either. So what, last champion really just gets wasted off there. And it does look like Griffin is going to be able to take round one. Yeah, Faison needs to do better when he... Uh... His decisioning, Round his decisions when he's respawning could definitely three, use some work in terms of two, just avoiding engagement, one. getting some stack, getting Round some weapons. Two, um, you don't want to push right away unless your opponent's low and you think you can just get a kill right off the bat, you know, to tie it. Griffin, very eager to take this initial fight too. Already trying to tag in for a little bit of damage on the LG, but backs up pretty quickly now that he's got the mega health. And I think he's going to try to wait out here, see if he can get the armor too, but a lot of speed coming in for him. Didn't lose a lot of it, though, when he got inside of this room, but he still has his opponent basically on lockdown. He's got to be careful, though. He's taking a lot of damage from from the uh, from the SMG there, so he's going to end up pretty low, and now ends up in an open nail gun fight. He does not want to take this right now. Basically, just trying to open up an opportunity, but here comes the rush. He tries to eat it with the shield, but that does not work, so Faison just bursts right through his opponent and knocks out his first champion. Yeah, I think Griffin lost track of his own stack there. You know, he was 
falling in love with doing a little damage and not realizing, you know, you're on clutch. So everything's getting, everything's landing. So that's the big trade-off of, uh, for people who have been wondering, like, oh, he's he's got so much health. Like, why doesn't everybody just play it? Well, he's just a huge target, and he doesn't move as fast as a lot of the other a lot of the other champions as well. So it does make it a little bit rougher. But Phazon just destroying this time. Look at that. Couldn't even keep up with the action. It happened so quickly. Finally, Griffin gets himself a trade kill there as he switches over to VJ Blaskovitz, but only by the nature of him rushing for the LG spawn, then getting right in right in his opponent's face and popping his active. Yeah, should have should have heard him coming through the portal. You can hear that uh, portal sound. Emergency pop as well for FaZe on there and back onto the Nyx now, but still trying to chase down the opponent. Didn't do anywhere close to enough damage though to finish it off when uh, when the Nyx came back outside of the stealth. So it just ended up losing track of it there. And now Griffin has an even 1v1 to play off of, but he's being a little bit cautious here. Doesn't want to jump right into that fight on FaZe on just yet. Yeah, FaZe on looks like he doesn't have uh, timing on, on heavy armor or mega health right now. So he's kind of really in a awkward spot because he doesn't know you know where to go when to challenge so he should just be trying to get a time and try to get a second armor and just kind of pick at him you, you don't want to avoid you don't want to you want to avoid a confrontation right now if you're phase on phase on he's got the spawn oh nicely done hits a direct rocket hit too how do you think he realized that that's that's the kind of stuff you need to do. See now he's got the me now he's now he's in a position to push. And he's gonna move right in. Pops the duel, but he does fall down right at the last second there. So his opponent's gonna be able to use it. Oh, messes up the rocket jump too. Unfortunate. So he just lost a lot of health on that for no reason. And now has to go hunting. Still has the slight advantage at this point. However, it's a very delicate one. You can see him hunting down, trying to capitalize on this again. He does leap right into it. Still ends up okay, though, after picking that up. And now he's trying to chase his opponent down over to the full armor. Misses that, and now his opponent's popped the duel on him, but he's holding him back, bouncing him, and over yeah. to the LG, allowing Phazon to finish off his last champion there and take it one-to-one. -one. Nicely played by Phazon at the end. Yeah, good good position, spamming the rockets in there at heavy armor. Uh, Griffin also did him a favor, trying to push out with the double LG, thinking, you know, he could power through that position, but uh, he ate some rockets trying to do, do so. Faison going to be using his charge to try and race over towards the full armor. However, he, he missed the boat on that one by a good three to four seconds. So it just doesn't pan out the way he would have liked. And he's also lost the benefit of the extra health already here. He's already just back down to his normal stack. So he's going to be a little bit careful here fighting against Griffin for these next couple moments until he can get himself built up a bit better. And he's trying to play with the shotgun up close or from that range, I should actually say. Won't work out. And now the shield pop comes out from Faison. Buying him a little bit more time, even though he's in the open there. And it works out perfectly with the spawn of the health, too. Nicely played. Nicely timed by Griffin. He has full control of the map currently. Yeah, Phazon just needs to be... There you go. There you go. He ends up in a really nice position. So Phazon just doing massive damage. And it didn't even seem like Griffin was really available to respond to that. Kind of just seemed like he gave up once he ended up in that position against the LG. No running away from that. And that's how you turn that advantage around. Beautifully done by Phazon with a great positioning. Here comes the charge, but I think actually Phazon managed to dodge most of the damage. But Griffin manages <sighs> to somehow pick up that kill right at the very end of it. Yeah, he's just... Uh, Phazon, I don't know. I think sometimes he's not listening to those sound cues. He, he's getting snuck up on sometimes. He's getting some nice just kills like and then... Uh, A little unfortunate the way that pans out and now look at how low phase on oh my goodness i'm amazed he's staying that close seven hp currently yeah he's got no business being in this area right now it's, it's That's just okay yeah <laughs> if I was, for everybody watching like what he was doing like yeah oh, okay so he's gonna die and he paid for it and he paid for it well, once Griffin got that second kill, it was pretty much all over. He takes full control of that last champion battle. And now he ends up with the advantage here. Two to one. So we'll go to uh, what could be our last round of this map here. With Griffin at the advantage. One more, and he's uh, he's got control here. Oh, and once again, that charge early on, but Griffin just hops right over it. Now is the LG, and he can just chase his opponent down. Nobody got that armor yet, so that's exactly what Faison's trying to go for. Gets it. However, Griffin still wants to take this battle since he at the very least got the mega health. Changes his mind, though, towards the very end of it, and now he's just trying to wait out for his opportunity to take a battle, and he's found it. Diving in, looking for those rocket hits, but again, backs away. Yeah, Griffin's in a good spot right now. Phazon just needs to be thinking about maybe sniping this uh, heavy armor, because you know he's going to be coming straight for it. And then trying to get a... He needs a lightning gun. 
Nice damage on the rockets there. Mitigating a little bit of that armor pickup that Phazon just got for himself. Now they really have to fight over this, uh, this mega health, though, because if Phazon gets that, he's going to go for the fight really quickly. It doesn't matter how much HP Griffin has. And whoa, Griffin! Beautifully done! Leaps over the portal and right into his opponent's face. Just takes him down outright with the rockets. And I believe he's going to try to chase down this second kill quickly, too. Got him on the Nyx as well. It doesn't need a whole lot to get that kill. Nyx escapes, though, with about 48 HP left. Yeah, nothing you can do flying clutch in your face with the shield up. Um, and it... In the engagement when he spawns with Nyx, like, again, there's, there's no reason to take that much damage if you're Faison. Just, just use your Ghost Walk and mm -hmm. get out of there. Now he ends up in that next battle, and you can see he doesn't have the ability ready anymore. doesn't matter if he recovered the health stack. Griffin just got so much more health. So, in an open battle, he's very easily going to win that second one. So, it's been brought down to a 3v1 here. Faison's last champion, and Griffin just wants to take the fight. Goes up right into his opponent's face. And there we go. That last rocket hit will secure it. It's going to be Griffin that takes map number one. Yeah, Griffin was definitely settling into a groove there. Um, Bazon needs to regroup mentally. He's just making it a little too easy for his opponent right now. The one round he did win was uh, was was pretty good actually. I mean, we saw some we saw some really great stuff from him. It was just again much like our last match actually. Things kind of fell apart really quickly uh, as soon as the tide and the it kind of basically just snowballed Griffin's way as soon as he picked up that second round. It seemed. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, it's just uh, some of the decision making was a little suspect at times, especially like he, he would have an opportunity to get the kill. And I think he got a little too excited. Like he would just not realize, hey, your opponent's respawning. He's going to have an ability up. You know, he, he can push you uh, right away. And it's, it's almost like he gets a little lazy after that kill. He it, it, If I was going to offer him any advice, it'd just be like, you know, you got the frag, but still you know where'd your opponent spawn and be be wary of a rush you know there was one time he, they used blaskowitz you know griffin just came right back at him with a double lg it's like that portal makes a sound you know that teleporter makes a very distinctive sound it's like why didn't you hear him why didn't you know mm -hmm. why aren't you ready for him to come out and it's, it's just got to keep that map awareness going at all times in a duel absolutely and of course uh we do, we do want to mention as well that Griffin has quite a bit of history, so this could be possibly some nerves getting these guys and causing them to make these mistakes here and causing these, these little uh, these, these little micro mistakes where it's like, oh, okay, why did he, you know, just things that seemingly at a glance make no sense, but it could just be kind of the nerves getting to these guys. Well, as you can hear in the background, though, we are very quickly jumping into our second map as the players are ready now, so let's hop over to the gameplay and take a look at how these picks are going to work out. Nerves is certainly a factor, you know, you get the tournament single elimination. Um, so, yeah, that that's definitely will, will affect how you play. Yeah, and a lot on the line to have to make this this one big run as well, especially if you are a player who doesn't have a very big competitive background. So, so you can definitely, you know, you may not think that you're going to be affected by that, but you won't ever really know until you kind of hop into the arena and test it for yourself. Uh, some players that, you know, or some just friends of mine that I know personally have kind of tried out like smaller tournaments and even that has kind of like... They've gotten really jittered, really intense about those matches, so they can definitely get affected by it. Anyone can, really. Yeah, I, I would say everybody, regardless of who you are, is affected by tournament atmosphere, money on the line, uh, games. To to some degree, you know, some more than others, obviously, but there there's definitely an effect when you're in that environment. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to be hopping over to our next map here now, much more open, uh, much more open uh, territory here, and obviously we have the railgun coming back into the picture too. So hopefully we'll get to see some nice shots being lined up by our two players here. Maybe a bit of a better fight by Phazon as well. He put up a good fight. Like I said, it's yeah, nah, it just mentally mentally breaks. I see it a lot with a lot of players who are learning, getting better at dueling. Games, it's just like they'll be good when they have three, control and they have some items, two, but once they one. die things kind of start to fall apart for them he had the one like i said we had he had the one really good round where he actually did some pretty smart plays to be completely honest there it was just that again once things got out of hand he, he wasn't really able to keep it together and oh griffin as we do get live with the second map now starts it off with a beautiful direct hit right on the phase on there and as you can see it's already brought him down to basically just one tick of health so he's got to go hunting at the right start of the map instead of looking for weapon pickups yeah, he just made a poor choice at the beginning in terms of it, the route, you know, it, for people who are new in Duel, think about when you start on a map, you each respawn, think of it like a set play in chess, there's certain moves you're going to make right at the start, no matter what, especially depending where your opponent is, and he chose poorly, and that's, he gave um, Griffin both, he has both items now, he has Mega Health time, he has the uh, Big Armor time. He's only being pretty smart about it though, you notice he was able to dodge his opponent, however, you may have seen that rocket which he did hit himself with, did kind of kill the duel. So Griffin is once again going to pick up the first kill of the round here on our second map. And that's just an example of poor engagement. He's down there with 50 health. You know, your opponent's fully stacked. 
you don't want to be there. Just just know that he's going to go there to pick it up and use that information that he's going to pick up the heavy armor to go get some other items for yourself while he's doing that. Yeah, Griffin's just giving his opponent no room to work with here. Faison, again, already forced back and forced to retreat to go look for some extra pickups. He's on the run. Right into the open, though. Hits that nice rail shot. One more could be what kills is it. Is not gonna happen. Griffin still so heavily stacked up and now nets himself the second kill. Maybe able to just go right for the third one here since he still has a pretty decent stack built up over to the LG. Faison's trying to dodge it. He does miss the railgun, but into the rocket shots is what's gonna happen next. But in comes that injection right at a clutch moment there. Saves Faison for right now, but oh, misses that jump. And now he's down in the dumps where the last rail from Griffin is gonna come diving in as he completes a perfect first round. Yeah, not a good round by Faison there. Um, just, I, I, a plethora of things I could point out, but mainly was, was like I said, he was challenging for that heavy armor when he really had no stack. So he hit the rail and it doesn't matter. So I'm trying to point out that choosing your engagements wisely is, is huge. Griffin just, just annihilated him there because Faison did him some favors too and made it easy. Well, already Faison starting it off. They are going to be able to each pick up at least one power up for themselves to work off of here. Griffin gets himself the extra armor. And, oh, he's going to delete the extra health that Faison did have as he's now on the run here with just one HP. And no way he's going to get away. The final real shot from Griffin again gets him that first initial kill in the round. And now it's like uh, it's like Griffin's, you know, hit some shots now. He's been in a groove. Uh, it's not looking good for Faison at all right now. Griffin just absolutely zero worries at this point, too. Diving into the fight against his opponent. Mistake. There was that last second pop there, but Griffin still able to capitalize on so much damage despite missing the armor pickup there that Faison was able to steal. He's fortunate. That was a little bit of a mistake on Griffin's part. That's why he gave up the, his stack there. But uh, let's see if Faison can capitalize. It seems like he's been struggling to, to kind of really track Stop Griffin's. You notice he got shot. See, so he's getting shot from behind. He's just having a problem tracking Griffin right now. He should definitely know where he is now, as he should have just heard the full armor pick up. Just about figure out where exactly he's going to go. Is the problem is predicting your opponent's uh, actions and being able to read into that appropriately and set yourself up at the same time so that you don't just run headfirst into them. It's not necessarily the best option, depending, especially on the uh, the champion you're working with. Well, at least one rail connecting on the Griffin. Just doesn't have the closing distance to be able to move in and actually engage. So Griffin's allowed to fall back and recover. And in a moment here, we're going to have the pickups going in. Faison's going to be allowed to get it this time, though. Griffin didn't really seem to go for the full armor pickup. Tried to trap his opponent. And he did get him. He was just a little bit too late on actually engaging. And now Faison, he's going to pop. He's going to pop the ghost walk to get himself outside of this fight here. But now he's going to pop right into his opponent's face. Didn't even realize it bounced him. Missed the follow-up. And now he's going to be able to pop off the ghost walk as well. Move in here, get the mega health pickup, and put himself back into a good position. Just, just poor, poor play by Faison. One, you, you used the ghost walk and kind of a killing spree. I don't know why he yeah. used it in that position. And then he came around the corner in, a, in an area where you can be shot from multiple areas, you know, from both sides, and he just kind of walked out of view. Finally, Griffin was able to lock down that kill there too. So finished it off with those last few points of damage, and we're over to the last yeah. champion here for Faison in this round, and he's already stuck inside of the rocket room. The fallback rail from Griffin, nicely played. He gets the second round. Yeah, you prepare to fight. I mean, what's the, like I said, I said this should be it, and then three seconds later, the frag's there. <laughs> he's just calling it, man. He's just calling, calling it. Just calling it. Just call me Prophet Machiavelli. Yeah, yeah, little three. Prophet here. So, so going into our third round, what may be just a straight 3-0 from Griffin, a perfect match. I don't, he didn't even die in the second round, right? So I think he's perfect so far. Well, that could change here. He's trying to fall back, getting so many rail shots, just not enough to get the kill on Faison. One more will do the trick. However, oh, nicely read. Faison immediately gets that lock on a Griffin as soon as he jumps out of the stealth. And now Griffin actually has to take a step back and fall away here. Falling in love with those shots he was hitting. He hit him with two rails. He could honestly just switch the machine gun, but he wanted to hit that third one, so mm. he paid for it. He paid for it. I, I think I think at this point, Griffin's kind of going for a couple style points. Like I said, I'm pretty certain. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think he's died yet, so. Yeah, he's he's, he's feeling confident. Like I so said, there was another time where he, he jumped off a ledge, did a 180 on the way down, and shot a rail. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, he, he's, he thinks he's hot. He's, he's hot stuff right now. <laughs> it's having a little fun. Well, Faison spots the Knicks now and is going to try to take it into good. the fight. That was good to get out of there. 
Don't even take the damage. Don't even take the damage. Like I noticed some Nixes, you know, they'll play and they'll, they'll wait till they're critical before they use it. And you don't want to do that. So if, one, it limits your options, and two, it kind of lets your opponent know where you're going. You're going to make a beam line for hell. I mean, so there's only so many places you can go in three seconds. He's, on, he's got the correct lock on his opponent. There we go. The missed rail as well from Griffin is going to put him into a bad spot. Faison can't hit that second one, though. It doesn't really have enough. I'm not sure if he can complete the kill on just that one last hit. But regardless, he gave Griffin the room he needed to retreat. So he's going to fall back. And Faison himself is going to end up down below. But he's got the Dire Orb pop. Gets himself right up on top. Steals the Mega Health. And now tries to dive down below. Looking for those last couple rails. Or the one rail, in this case, that would be needed to potentially get the kill but ends up going up on top, taking the high ground, and with the stealth being popped out there by Griffin, he's able to escape again. I don't know if Faison was trying to set a trap. Did he fall off there with it? I was kind of interested. I think at the end he fell off. He was definitely trying to set a trap at the start, and it worked great, too. Now he's just going to dive into this fight. He's got to be careful with that. Makes it very easy to read where you're going and line up a rocket hop like that. So Griffin, using that read, is able to pick up that kill and now put Faison down to the second champion on this round. Excellent mid air rocket. Excellent mid air rocket to finish him. Now, hiding in this corner, taking a little bit of a risk here so we can leap out into the fight. Already hit the full 100 damage there, so that's going to put Faison down low. He has to pop the stealth, but Griffin pops it as well in response. Tries to line up the rail, but Faison just barely gets himself out of dodge, at least for now. But that could change right in this moment as Griffin is looking for the re engage. Making sure he doesn't lead himself into a couple rail shots himself. Faison's only focus is to stay alive currently and just get the heck out of there. He succeeds in it, so he's going to keep himself rolling for right now, but he does have to once again give up on the Mega Health pickup, because that'll go right over to Griffin. They're both items are spawning at the same time, so if you're, like I said, if you're, if you're smart as a player, you can choose one or the other if you're reading where your opponent is, but Faison has been having a problem tracking Griffin. There's been some shots. He's been taking some stuff from the sides and from behind. Um, see, you can just see that even when I'm watching his mouse movement, you can just kind of see how unsure he is in moments about where, where what Griffin's doing. Yeah, he's going all back and forth right now. Finally leaps up to the high ground after getting that next armor pickup. The health is still up, but not for long here. And ends up in a direct fight, trying to go with the real gun, or the lightning gun that close up. Not going to work. He still has his self lock though, but oh, just barely jumps into it there too, trying to dodge out and not get hit by the rail. Now he's going to go right for the fight, but Griffin has the better odds. And in a clutch shot, takes out Faison's second champion, putting him down to potentially his last one here, and also potentially putting Griffin in position to have a perfect map. And here's that uh, spawn push of his. Uh, he's going to got to be really careful with that. Really hungry for revenge, as it would seem, especially considering the situation he's now put himself into. And he, in fact, he already used his injection. Morning. Yeah, he already used that, so that's on cooldown now as well. And he might just walk into his own death here. Another rail connecting over from Griffin. Faison, the last man alive, trying to put his opponent in the corner, but the Nyx still has the active ready to go, so the stealth pop, damage immunity. Griffin's going to be able to escape for right now, and Faison, well, he needs to go for a health pickup very soon here. So 25 HP is not going to last him very long at all, especially with Griffin being right on his tail. I know Griffin's probably thinking to protect that other guys. He could have got that kill a little second earlier. He, he had him on the ropes when he ran away with Ghostwalk, but I guess he was looking to protect his lead there. But uh, yeah, because he, he had phase on hurting. He could have just followed him with those flock and killed him with one shot. Mm -hmm. Well, that is going to give the series here. That's going to go over to Griffin, guys. He's going to take it 2-0. And like I said before, pretty sure perfect on this second map now. 3 to nothing. I don't think he even died once. So very well played by Griffin. He is going to be pushing forward into the next phase of the event. And we guys, I believe, are going to be taking a very short break here.